In the Transformers movie franchise, Hound and Ironhide bring the rain when it comes to the Autobots. But if the two went to battle, which one would survive? This is an Autobot battle. Oh, you ain't talking so much now, you got Hound in front of you, huh? And I'm going to give you my views on both Hound and Ironhide's chances if the two went one on one. So we're going to look back at the Transformers movie franchise and overview both and then make a decision on which one would be the victor. And I want you to do the same as well. Let me know via the comment section below who you think would win this Autobot battle between Hound and Ironhide. So let's take a look at Hound. Oh please pull it, please do it. You know what? Just save us so much time. Hound has featured in both Transformers The Last Night and Transformers Age of Extinction. And Hound is a technical specialist and a highly experienced Autobot commando and is a vocal and boisterous member of the Autobots. Hound is usually the first Autobot to spray bullets in the heat of a battle. This gives him a tendency to switch guns in quick succession. And while it's great for an Autobot to have such ammunition, Hound often finds himself short of ammo at the worst possible time. At times, the Autobot Commando could be seen as a liability, as you would expect Hound to have the experience and know when and when not to pull the pin or the trigger. But even in these moments, Hound has bravery on his side, and that conquers all as Hound will always have a few tricks up his sleeve, or should I say, in his cigar. And that is something that Ironhide may not account for. Hound has a Junkian-like form, and his alt mode is a tactical vehicle which could be used as military defense. His alt mode makes him strong and well-armored, and it should protect him against any kind of offense from a Decepticon but will it protect him from the offense of Ironhide? In the Transformers movie franchise, Hound has killed numerous Decepticons, but he's lacked that one significant kill. However, in Transformers The Last Night, he did slug it out with Megatron, showing just how gutsy an Autobot he truly is. So let's weigh up the facts. Hound is a loud-mouthed, trigger-happy Autobot, but he backs it up and he's not afraid to tackle the big boys. His alt mode should protect him in a chase, but would he fall short of ammunition in the final moments of battle? That is the big question. Now let's take a look at Ironhide. Ironhide was featured in the first three Transformers films, Transformers 1, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, and Transformers Dark of the Moon. And Ironhide is the weapon specialist of the Autobots. My weapons specialist, Ironhide. You feeling lucky, punk? Ironhide is a strong, tough, hardened Autobot and has the battle scars to prove it. He is one of Optimus Prime's closest allies throughout the Transformers movie franchise and he's never one to back down from a battle. This could be made no more apparent than in Transformers Dark of the Moon during the Mexican standoff when Ironhide literally crashed into two Decepticon dreads. As I mentioned, Hound lacks that significant kill, but Ironhide, well, he had his moment. With the support from Sideswipe, Ironhide blasting both dreads and turning them into Decepticon punks, as he so proudly calls it. Class dismissed. Can he turn Hound into a punk? I'll leave you to make that decision. I mentioned Hound has the ammunition, but does Ironhide have the weaponry? Well, he does. He has his cannons, and he's proud of them, and he chooses to use them wisely. On occasions, Ironhide will simply track his Decepticon foe in his GMC top kick truck alt mode, and then strike at the right moment. One area for Ironhide that could be questioned is trust. In Transformers Dark of the Moon, Ironhide put his trust in Sentinel Prime 
and Sentinel repaid that trust by blasting Ironhide in the back, marking his death in the Transformers movie franchise. Could Hound exploit that weakness so again? Let's look at the facts. Ironhide will never back down from a fight, and he has taken out numerous Decepticons just like Hound, but he has added the dreads to his hit list. Ironhide is not wasteful with his weaponry, but he can have his moments of weakness. So which one do you choose? Which one would win in a battle? Well, for me, I have to go for Ironhide. And the reason why I choose Ironhide is that I feel his cannons will be too much for the ammunition of Hound. And if Hound did try to escape in his alt mode, I believe the GMC truck would simply run him down too. I honestly don't think there would be an escape chase between the two, as both would go out swinging. But with Hound, he would continue to swing, but he would have no more pins to pull, and Iron Eyed would simply blast him away. I like it. Love it. So that's my opinion. That is what I think. I think Iron Eyed would defeat Hound in an Autobot battle. But what do you think? I want you to let me know via the comments section below who would win the Autobot battle between Hound and Iron Eyed. Get involved and I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know which Autobot battle or Decepticon battle you would like to see next. All that's left to be said is please rate, comment and subscribe. This is Delzinski, signing out.